Today we are celebrating uh, our first, our mass, uh, this first Friday of the 10th week in the ordinary time. Our mass presider for today is Reverend Father Dindo Puerto, SSP. Uh, for our mass intentions today, um, special intentions to faculty and students of School of Arts and Sciences and School of Environmental Science. Uh, and also for the birthday, thanksgiving, and good health of the following. Levina Devina Gracia Ramirez and for all June birthday celebrants. And also for the repose of the souls of Mam Susi Moya Benitez, Francisca Terona Benitez, and Helena Z. Benitez. For our entrance antiphone, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my light. Whom should I dread? When those who do evil draw near, they stumble and fall. Father, you're on your talk. Okay, okay na po. Shall we begin? The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God in the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together, I can. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, mercy. have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord mercy. have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance, do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of King. At the mountain of God, Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. But the word of the Lord came to him. Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. A voice said to him, Elijah, where are you here? He replied, I have been more zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts. For the children of Israel have forsaken your covenant, torn down your altars, and put your prophets to the sword. I alone I left, and they seek to take my life. The Lord said to him, Go, take, take the road, uh, the road back to the desert near Damascus. When you arrive, you shall anoint Hazel.
Long to see your face, O Lord. I long to see your face, O Lord. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Of you my heart speaks, you my glance seek. I long to see your face, O Lord. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. I long to see your face, O Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the land in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. I long to see your face, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the world of light. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Glory O to Lord. You. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, Everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Gehenna. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, Whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So let us have a, a short homily, no? First and foremost, I would like to introduce myself first. I am Father Dindo. I am also from the Society of St. Paul. So I was requested no, by Father Paul Marquez no, to replace him just for today no, to, in your Mass. So don't worry. <laughs> this, this will be the, my first and my last probably. So ako po, kakabalik ko lang galing ng Brazil uh, after a two-year missionary experience. No? You know, one of the challenging things no, of being a missionary is to acquire a new language. And that's why uh, for one year in Brazil, I was not able to speak you know, in Portuguese. And you know, the only thing I was able to do you know, to survive you know, my stay there was to communicate using my body. I think here in our gospel today, it seems that at first glance, you know, we will not be able to understand you know, the language of God, the language of Jesus. You know? what, is he, what is he saying? Why is he saying this? You know? Cutting parts of our body that lead us to the occasion of sin. You know? And probably if we will follow this literally, malamang siguro lahat tayo you know, kulang-kulang na ngayon. You know, if we follow this literally. But I think you know, it's good to begin you know, by asking ourselves first and foremost, where does sin come from? You know? Saan ba nagsisimula yung kasalanan? You know? Alam nyo, lately I realized na ang kasalanan pala ay nagsisimula you know, sa maling akala. You know? Akala ko kasi, you know, uh, hindi ako malilin lang. You know? Akala ko kasi, hindi ako mahukulog. You know? Akala ko kasi, hindi mangyayari yun. So, nagsisimula ang kasalanan sa maling akala. And I think this is also what happened no, to Adam and Eve in Genesis. No, the first sin happened to be no, when, Eve, when Eve and Adam, no, they thought no, uh, akala namin hindi kami makuhulog doon. No? So we know what happened there no, in Genesis. No? Maling akala. No? It is an error of judgment of Adam and Eve no, upon the prohibition of the Lord not to touch or even to eat no, from the tree of knowledge no, of good and evil. So probably here in our gospel today, Jesus might be referring to that. No? 
cut it off right away. You know, our thoughts, our thoughts are very powerful. No? In fact, our thoughts are manifested ex externally by our body. You know, we can detect no, uh, the thoughts of someone no, but just by look, looking at his or her body. No, kaya nga po, if you are angry, your body will manifest, will manifest it. No, if you are happy, your body will also show it. No, if you are in love, no, your body also gets excited. Our words might might betray us sometimes, but our body does not. No, because it manifests how our body manifests our thoughts. Siguro, I will just end no this short reflection by telling you a story. No, a very short story. No, some uh, one time, no, I was invited. No, to to celebrate no to say mass in one of the chapels here in Makati and you know uh, kapag tinanggalan niyo po ako ng stola at saka ng chasuble hindi po talaga ako mukhang pare ano <laughs> but then uh, I, I went there to the chapel and since nagsisimula na yung misa doon hindi ako maka, makapasok no sa entrance so i i need to to enter no uh, sa back door and when I entered there, there was, uh, there was this woman, no, um, a mother butler, no, who assists no, the priest in the, in the sacristy. And so in this, um, this uh, woman, no, this mother butler, is, is very rigid no, with her rules. The, uh, she has rules in the sacristy. No? Ang pwede lang makakapasok sa sacristy ay siya. No, at saka yung pare. So dalawa lang, walang pwedeng makapasok sa sacristy kundi siya lang at saka yung pare, no? So no nakita niya po ako kasi hindi naman ako mukhang pare, mukha po akong server, no? <laughs> so when when she saw me, she asked me a question, no? She was very mad, no? And then she asked me, "What are you doing here?" So since I was caught by surprise, I was not able to respond, no, immediately. Uh, at mas lalo pa siyang nagalit. She get mad even, no? So nang hindi na ako sumagot, mas lalo pang tumaas yung boses niya at tinanong niya ako, magsiserve ka ba ngayon dito sa misa? So sabi ko, natameme ako, sabi ko, opo, magsiserve po ako ngayon sa misa. Sabi niya, anong oras ka ba magsiserve? So galit na galit na po talaga siya. Sabi ko, mamaya maya po pagkatapos ng misa na ito. Sabi niya, you cannot stay here. Sabi niya sa akin, ganun. Ano? So sabi ko, ah, sige po, iiwan ko na lang po muna yung gamit ko, tapos babalik na lang po ako mamaya. And then I asked her, sabi ko sa kanya, am I in the right place? Ito po ba yung sacristy kung saan nabibihis yung mga pare? Tapos sabi niya, oo. Ah, kasi ako po si Father Dindo. So may karapatan naman po siguro ako dito sa sacristy. Ano? Sabi, ay pari ka? <laughs> Sabi ko, opo, pari po ako. <laughs> Tapos she was very apologetic. Sabi niya, Father, I'm very sorry. Sabi ko sa kanya, stay there. No? <laughs> you cannot come closer. No? Sabi ko, babalik na lang ako mamaya. No? So in fact, 15 minutes before my mass, no? uh, bumalik ako doon ay, at pumasok na po ako sa entrance ng chapel. And then I saw her there. So lahat ng tinanong niya sa akin, para makaganti din ako, no? eh tinanong ko rin sa kanya. Sabi ko sa kanya, ay, magsiserve ka ba? <laughs> Anong oras ka magsiserve? No? So lahat ng tinanong niya para makabawi ako, eh, itinanong ko sa kanya. No? And then finally, I got the courage also to evangelize, no? to, to tell her. Sabi ko sa kanya, matagal na po ba kayo nagsaserve dito sa chapel? Sabi niya, matagal na, Father. Actually po, ito na po yung pangpitong misa ko. Pero yung nagtitake po ba kayo ng communion kapag nag attend kayo ng misa? Opo, Father, ito na rin yung pangpitong magtitake ako ng communion pag magmisa kayo. Sabi ko sa kanya, eh kaso po, parang hindi ko po ata nakikita si Jesus sa inyo. No, the moment we receive, the moment we receive the Lord, no, during the communion, our body also tabernacle. So we have to be very careful, no, and to celebrate, no, uh, not 
physically but virtually, but please remember that you are making your body as a tabernacle of God. And you know when you see a tabernacle, you know that you need to treat it with respect and reverence. For us Christians, this is a challenge for all of us, even for all of us priests and religious. How can we make our body manifest the presence of God to others? And probably, and most especially, we need to remember you know, the opening prayer that we have today. You know? Lord, you are so good. Please help us to do what is right. Amen. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our hear prayer. Us. That the Holy Father and those who exercise authority in the church may be guided by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, our, hear prayer. our prayer. That married couples may be sensitive to each other's needs and find true happiness in their lives together let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our, prayer. our prayer that sinners may find hope and encouragement in the lord's forgiveness of peter let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer that the sick and those who are in distress may experience the Lord's presence amidst their sufferings and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may receive light, happiness, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All these prayers and petitions we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth, in work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God, be God for forever. forever. For the mystery of this world and one, we come to share in the divinity of Christ and humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for, for our, our good Lord, and the good of Lord, all, all his church. Holy Church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them Amen. up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness, waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the virgin, and by the passion of the cross he freed us from an ending death, and by rising from the dead he gave us life eternal, and by rising, and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, 
with all the hosts and powers of heaven, as we sing the hymn of your glory without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirits upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat up and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink his, this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. They thy will be done, be done on done. earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day yes, our daily bread, bread and forgive us our day trespasses, day. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace in unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, Father. Peace be with you. Peace. Peace be with you, everyone. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ. Amen. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us now pray the prayer to the sacred heart of Jesus. Divine Jesus, you have said, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Behold me kneeling at your feet, filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips. I come to ask this favor. To whom can I turn if not to you, whose heart is, is the source of all graces and merits? Where should I seek if not in the treasure, which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where should I knock if not at the door through which God gives himself to us and through which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus, in you, I find consolation when I afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will, to will it, and my prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you, and your kind heart will find in my miseries and weakness in a reason for granting my pain. O sacred heart of Jesus, O sacred heart, whatever may be your decision with, re with, re with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. May Jesus be pleased to accept this my act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire may be fulfilled in and by me and all your creatures forever. Sacred heart of Jesus, I know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity for those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon me, I beg of you, dear Jesus, and grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you through the immaculate heart of your most sorrowful mother. You have entrusted me to her as her child and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth and become the tabernacle of God to everyone. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Maraming salamat po and have a blessed weekend. Thank you, Father. Thank you, everyone.